you've got a problem with your Honda dome light, aka map light, then stay tuned. So basically, yeah, I have the uh, covers off, whatever, these things, you know, but I'll show how to take them out later. Um, thing is, the buttons manually turn on the bulbs, but this feature here, door, so what's supposed to happen is when you open the door they both have to turn on and then when you close it also happens when you take the key out nicely dims it doesn't work for the left one and I suspect that it's this uh, switch right here and I ordered a new one so we're gonna do that replacement and talk about some other things along the way All right, the first thing you want to do is take this out and there's these two screws over here and over there that you have to take out so I'll go ahead and do that now it'll be a little stubborn but you wanna gently you know shake it out pinch it by the sides here Okay, and eventually it comes out. You don't want to pull it too hard because then what if you pull too hard and you rip the wires out? So there's two connectors, a smaller one on the left and more towards the center right is another one. So take the left one out first. It's most convenient that way. There's a tab. You have to press in with the tip of your finger and then pull that out. And then this has a tab in there. So press that in. Yeah, this one's harder because it's thicker. More connector pins. So you take that out. Um, important thing to note, um, you can't test it, you know, hanging in the air unless you bridge the connection between that, the chassis, or the roof of the car, and uh, here, that's where the bolt goes. But it's, um, we'll look at the electrical diagram. I'll show you that uh, it's the ground. This is the ground. The bolt is actually part of the ground. So these uh, machine screws, rather, that go in. The left one doesn't seem to be um, part of closing the circuit, but the right one definitely, because it has that metal connection going there. So, yeah, sometimes when your lights are flickering and uh, that sort of problem, it's because the ground isn't secure. So for, to complete the circuit, this actually has to make contact with the roof of the car, which, as most of you might know, the whole chassis of the car is the uh, ground negative terminal, so... Anyway, uh, to get the switch out, yeah, need a thin screwdriver, or knife maybe, to go in there and push it out, like that way, out. So I'll do that now. I'll try with this thin screwdriver here. And actually, I found a better way to do it. Yeah, you see I already got it out here. So, um, if that doesn't work from this side to push it that way, what I did actually is, uh, like, it's already out, but you can stick it in here. I'll show you on the opposite one. So, um, you stick your screwdriver in there carefully and, uh, see right there? And you wedge it out. So from the side it will be that kind of motion, like I'm gonna pull down, right? So wedge it out, right in there. So it'll come out this way. It actually flew out <laughs> from all the force, the built up pressure. So that comes out and uh, I'll install the quote unquote new one that I got. Which, I mean, they are made by different manufacturers, you know, but they're supposed to be the same thing. And you'll see the color is a bit different. But they should do the exact same thing. So my original one that came with the car, right? That's this with the black bottom. But they look identical, right? Um, they have the exact same function. So, hopefully I install this one and... Uh, that will be exactly what this fix required. So, 
in it goes, right? And uh, from the back, most importantly, to watch that these pins, they're kind of sharp, right? They have to go right into those slots for them. Push it down. And it snaps into place. So, I mean, as you can hear, it's working. And uh, I'll go ahead and reinstall it now. So, make sure you get the direction correct. Plug that one in, go in reverse order, right? This big one up here. Make sure that's in. All the way. And do this one. That snaps in. That looks like it's all the way in. Now you want to get this wire uh, kinked the way it was. So look up there and carefully feed it in the way it was. Push that in. Alright. It's in, but most importantly you got to get the screws back in so yeah the left one's important but the right one seems to be the ground one so I'll do the left one kind of loose you know just a little snug and then the right one the right one I'll actually do all the way tight because that is the ground and then I want to come back to the left one just uh, being methodical about it, so not to overkill it, but definitely screw it in hard. Yeah, same with this one. So let's test it now. That turns on, that turns on, door function, beautiful, dim, boom. Again the manual on off and I'm so happy right now I'm just containing myself that this fix actually worked. Think about it if you wanted to get this whole assembly a new one from dealer uh, costs like what 65 to 100 dollars something like that uh, from a junkyard it might cost like 50 bucks or 30 bucks depends where you go but all for this little devil and on eBay or anywhere online you can find them rather cheap like this one I, I you know got for about six seven bucks free shipping. I mean, DIY job, as long as you diagnose and make sure that that is your problem, then just, yeah, there's no excuse not to do it yourself. So once again, we have the door function on, right? So I'll, I'll just prove a point, like, yeah, I will do it with the door, right? And as soon as you lock your car, that's also supposed to uh, make them go up. But if you take your key out of the ignition, it also does that, right? And then if you lock the car, that's supposed to dim them. So anyway, um, now I'll reinstall those things. The uh, plastics, whatever. First thing I want to do is figure out which one goes where. And that's pretty simple because they have a specific shape. And I'll talk a little bit about um, how they're pried out. So let's look at this. Looking at this, you see there's like these uh, hooked teeth here, a smaller version on this side, and that side also has them. So, what you see on a lot of YouTube videos is that they pry this side out first. But that's not necessarily true, it depends really on, you know, as you're wedging it. So, like when I do it, like I do a little bit of this side just you know just enough and like where you want to pry you don't want to go on the teeth uh, there's like this thing right in the middle if you could like gauge where that is there you do try to stay away from the teeth themselves like maybe you want to put your screwdriver here maybe you want to put your screwdriver here I wouldn't recommend messing with the teeth because like if you slip down you'll break one of these teeth off um, same thing on the other side so you kind of want to gently feel for it this is more of a you know manual dexterity kind of thing and those that are sloppy will probably break these things. Um, you know, wedge it here in the motion like that, and then 
here you might even use two screwdrivers I did it with one like just going one side at a time gently little by little this one that one then it pops out like if one side is you know blatantly sticking out and you go for the other one you want to push the opposite side like back in to make it like level as you're going for the opposite side so like if this side is sticking out more now then I want to like hold it up with my finger as I'm doing this side so it's proportional if you have it hanging all the way out the angle is bad you're gonna break the teeth so there's that which I kind of have it stuck right now so <laughs> I may as well demonstrate how I would get it out there and yeah I took a long while it looked like I was gonna mess up but you know easy does it as long as it takes you to gently do it cuz it'll take you long but you won't hit yourself for doing it quickly and messing up you know breaking these teeth so as you know as patient as you have to be with it as patient as you have to be with it be with it so but to pop it back in is easy boom boom two clicks Turns on, turns off, on, off, right? And uh, the left one.